Olá YouTube, aqui é o Gosto de Armas Eu estou fazendo esse vídeo porque muitas pessoas não acreditaram no vídeo que eu fiz sobre é, aquele que eu disse que é a lei da física as pessoas não voam quando tomam um tiro Então eu vou passar esse vídeo que está no YouTube, eu vou pôr também o, o link caso vocês queiram ver com um pouquinho de melhor definição Mas eu vou passar esse vídeo para vocês verem This is a bulletproof vest, designed to stop rifles. It was created by a man who had a lot of intelligence and a hell of a lot of courage. He was the first man to ever test concealable soft body armor. And that's Richard Davis. Come on, Rich. Mm -hmm. Big hand for Rich. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> okay. Tell me about this vest. Uh, well, this one, as you can see, it worked in rehearsal. Uh, <laughs> this is Second Chance Hardcore 3. It's sort of a go anywhere, do anything type vest. Uh, you can take the pad out of here and put it inside a deep cover shirt. You've got a, a rig similar to that, where you can put it out where it concealed, goes through airport metal detectors. It's sort of the Soldier Fortune model. They have a Hardcore 2, which is smaller and real cheap. I call it the Peruvian Private model. And I have a Hardcore 4, which is bigger, comes from here all the way down below the groin. And that, that I call the World War I model. And that 10,000 men come out of the trenches and go against machine guns, you want to have that on. This is sort of the basic uh, compromise all around. This is for rifles. For rifles. There's no vest that is totally bulletproof. And on the other hand, there's no bullet that can't be stopped. Uh, this is designed right here. will take uh, 30 caliber rifles. This vest that Alex is wearing right now will indeed stop a 458 Winchester Magnum. However, today Alex is uh, first time for him here, so he's a little nervous, but we'll just hit him with a 308 NATO ball rather than a 458. We've got... Uh Five rounds in here just to show you what, what we got. I'm just going to fire here in the, in the dirt. I'll fire four, leave one. We got one left. You know where you want to put that? Yeah, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Carefully, please. Okay. I'll put my glasses on so I don't get any blasts in my face. Show you the confidence I got in, uh, in Richard and his vest. Okay, you got hands on your back. Yeah. Notice how he's standing with it. Uh, he's not. I'll hunch forward like this. The impact of a rifle bullet will not knock you over. Well, that's one of the things I want to show you. That's, okay. that's true. Thanks for reminding me. Alex is uh, leaning back on his heels here. I want to stay on one foot. One, well, <laughs> you juggle while we do this. I'll just stay, but I can't hold my foot up that long. But okay. A bullet does not knock you down. Your reaction to the bullet knocks you down. Are we in okay? Yep. Okay. Sure, I get it right. There it is. Really didn't feel like much, much less than a punch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's kidding, folks. There's hardly any blow to it all. If you think about it, the physics involved, the, the energy received can't be more than the energy transmitted, which means if the bullet had enough power to knock you down, it would also knock down the man firing it. So there's not much to it. Uh, what happens is, just as Richard once pointed out, if you come up and stick somebody in the ass with a pin, the guy's going to jump into the air. It's not the force of the pin, it's just your reaction to it. When you're shot, it, upset, it upsets you. It may hit your nerves, you may jump into the air. I can show you here. Where did I hit exactly? I haven't seen it. Right here. Yeah. Right here. I uh, we'll, 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 cut it. we'll take it apart after. I think you know if it didn't penetrate or I wouldn't be standing here talking. <laughs> Run like 40 miles an so hour. So what are you going to do with this stuff? Oh, God, i got to do that. Uh, okay, basically this is a soft second chance. And I will say the police uh, I'm doing this for is that... Uh, I've got to do this maybe twice a week, and you guys do it once every 20 years. <laughs> so what I use here, instead of, I don't have any metal inserts in the soft vest here, but we uh, resort to using some magazine just to take the shock out of it, because if I didn't do that, my chest looked look like a piece of raw hamburger. And I don't get to kill anybody afterwards either. Uh, this is the uh, fairly stiff load. This is a Federal three-quarter jacket, 44 Magnum. It's a 220 grain bullet, and you see the jacket comes up and around there. We'll stuff six of these buggers in here. No point in my fingers leave my hands. And we'll spin the cylinder. Like I said, I do this for a living. Very hard on these shirts, but I get them free where I work. <laughs> what is that, Ruth? Anyway, 
like a little bit pregnant there. Anyway, again, the vest would not puff up that much in real life here with the, the shirt holding it down or anything. But the real purpose of the magazines is not to stop the bullet, right? Yeah, the magazine didn't stop the bullet. The, the vest itself stopped it. It's just to prevent it's you from getting all carved up inside. Right. Big bruise. Ah. Which I'd like you to yeah. shoot me again one time. I want to carefully balance that one foot to prove the point about the bullet not knocking you over. Mm. Got a crazy man here. Got uh... <laughs> into my act, you know. <laughs> Be careful. Magazine last lasts a little while. Okay, one around. NATO ball. Okay, it's out of there. What the heck? Uh, I'm going to balance that one foot. Okay, I'll stretch right here. And... Okay. Okay, so you get a good gang on that? He's going to balance that one foot? Yeah. Okay. Nothing to it. <laughs> Just a lot of fluff. <laughs> 